Functional Communication Training at the Ellison Preschool by Ellen Brooks, Irina Carranza, Sean Cry, Tisa Hickman, and Anna Washabaugh. Ellison Preschool currently educates 200 students ages 3 to 5 years old. 50 students are in a regular education classroom and 150 are in a special education classroom. About 25 of these students are non-vocal. Five of them use PECs and the other 20 do not have a communication system. Currently, two behavior issues exist during playtime in all 20 classrooms. Those behaviors are fighting over toys and tantrums. Often, physical aggression is seen in fighting over the toys. These behaviors are typically exhibited during playtime in the classroom when a student grabs a toy from another student rather than asking to play. This training video will teach you how to intervene with the problem behaviors, specifically when they arise during playtime. The intervention that we will use school-wide is functional communication training. Functional communication training, or FCT, is an effective intervention for decreasing inappropriate forms of communication and increasing appropriate forms of communicative behavior in individuals with disabilities. When individuals do not have a functional system of communication, they often resort to challenging behavior in order to communicate. FCT involves conducting a functional assessment to determine the function of the challenging behavior and selecting a functionally equivalent communicative replacement behavior. Once the individual knows that using the replacement behavior results in the desired reaction or reinforcer, the challenging behavior becomes unnecessary and should be eliminated. The first empirical study of FCT was done by Carr and Duran in 1985. Since then, hundreds of studies have systematically replicated their findings. Research by Carr and Duran found that challenging behavior can be reduced by teaching children communicative phrases that effectively alter the stimulus condition that control the problems. In other words, the replacement behavior must be functionally equivalent to the problem behavior in order to reduce the problem behavior. Functional communication training has been used effectively with children, adolescents, and adults in a variety of settings. There are seven steps to FCT. Step one is to identify the interfering behavior. In our case at the Ellison School, it's tantrum and physical aggression. Step two, conduct a functional behavior assessment to determine the function of the behavior. Often, um, the function of the behavior appears to be access to tangible. Step three, collect baseline data before FCT is implemented. So see how frequently the interfering behaviors occur prior to the intervention. Step four, implement the FCT intervention. My child, or the child will say my turn when he or she wants a toy from another child. For the children who are non-vocal, they will be prompted to press the my turn button on their AAC device when he or she wants a toy from a child. Do not, step five, do not reinforce the interfering behavior. The assistant teacher must not reinforce any instance of tantrum or physical aggression. Step six, provide reinforcement for the replacement behavior. So when the child says my turn, quickly and consistently praise the child and positively reinforce the behavior by allowing the child to have a turn with the toy. Step seven, collect ongoing data during and after the FCT. To determine if the intervention is successful, data collection during and after the intervention will be compared to the baseline data. A successful intervention should result in the elimination or decrease of the interfering behaviors. We are now going to demonstrate functional communication training with a vocal child. <laughs> We will need an AAC device for all students who are non-vocal. We will need a computer. Um, we will need to analyze the data, so we will need some sort of graphing software. We will need tally counters to see how many times tantrum and physical aggression occurs. Also, we will use these three data sheets, the baseline data sheet on the left, in the middle the FCT data sheet for children with a, an AAC device, and on the right, an FCT data sheet for children who are vocal. The school-wide plan is to identify teams for implementation. 
Also, BCBAs will provide training on the use of FCT, as well as instructions on using the AAC devices to staff during a regular scheduled meeting roughly a month previous to the beginning of the school semester. A parent meeting will be held shortly after the initial staff meeting. FCT will be implemented at a Tier 1 level as it is school-wide. However, since the students are divided in a classroom, FCT will mostly be primarily taught at a Tier 2 level. No additional funding should be required, although 40 mechanical tally counters will be needed to be purchased. Teachers and teaching assistants will be the primary implementers of FCT. Once the intervention begins to be implemented, staff will meet once a month and have a refresher on using FCT. The results of the data that are collected in the previous month will also be analyzed and discussed in order to determine if the modifications to the intervention are needed. Remember, we are teaching communication that serves the same function of the, as the behavior. So do not reinforce the interfering behavior. Reinforce the replacement behavior quickly and consistently. The new communication skill saying my turn needs to be easier, quicker, and more reliable than the problem behavior. Thank you for watching our presentation.